Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now today I'm just getting back from the range putting 100 rounds through my Ruger PC carbine. First 100 rounds through this rifle. Today's going to be a little bit of a demonstration, show you how that went, show you how this was for me, how I enjoyed it, my thoughts about this rifle. Now first thing I can tell you, generally speaking, very, very good. I greatly enjoy the fact that this is a takedown model that's worked out extremely well. It's been nothing but perfectly comfortable for me, the right size, works well with my goals and objectives, because that's another thing, firearms are definitely tailored or should be to your goals and objectives, and so far this has been very good. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna bring you to the range, I'm gonna show you all of my shooting footage, all 100 shots, I'm gonna talk to you about a little bit about how that went, how this worked for me, how the sights worked out, and well, maybe there were some malfunctions to talk about. And so with that, let's hit up the range. I'm going to show you all 100 shots, then we'll come back here and I'll talk to you about this in a little more detail. But with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so now as we get to the range with the Ruger, PC carbine. This is model number 19116, a nine millimeter carbine. You can see here, I am using the factory SR magazine that comes with it. This is the only magazine I have at this exact time, but it's going to be good to load this up a number of times. See if there's any sharp spots or anything like that. I did have absolutely no problem at all with the magazine for the most part, but we'll get into this. So again, this is model 19116. This has a 10 round capacity, a barrel length of 16.12 inches, the overall length 34.37 inches. And getting into this after my first 10 shots, just a touch low, but very, very consistent. And I am extremely happy with that right out of the gate. Now, granted, this is only at 10 yards, but that's just a nice start. A little bit of an adjustment for me in my sight picture. That's going to be perfect. I am very happy with how tight that is. Now keep in mind this does have a rear adjustable ghost ring, a front protected blade front sight. This is a seven pound carbine, so fairly heavy overall, but it's mostly front weighted. The receiver, aluminum alloy. This has a nice hand guard, unlike some of the other models, so you do need to pay attention to the Ruger PC carbine. There are a ton of models out there. So here at 20 yards, you can see I definitely lost a couple low, but this looking real good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Not too bad. So, you know, you can see I definitely made the adjustment, started a little bit low, and then dialed that in. I mean, that's that's pretty nice. I'm happy with that. This feels really good too. Recoils not too bad. Ability to get back on target, pretty nice. So let's try working a little bit quicker this time and maybe dancing between both targets. Now I do find that this PC carbine fits me very well. It fits my body shape, my body size, and it's just been great. The sight picture, pretty good all things considered. I do like the ghost ring setup with that bladed front sight. I think it works fairly well. Now this is my first time using this particular type of sights. And for the most part, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. It's pretty easy to pick up on your target right away. And I found that with reasonable technique, I'm able to get right on target with ease. So you can see I was alternating between targets, going for the number one. A little bit loose there, but not too bad. This is the close target. This here at 10 yards. And then out to 20 yards. You can see a couple hits there. And then lost a couple, a little bit down low, but one, two, three, four, five. Not too bad, but I gotta tighten that up. It's just a matter of getting used to the sight picture on this. I can tell I'm not seeing it quite right, but I'll get it there. And so, of course, keep in mind the fact that I'm pretty much a novice. I mean, I am certainly not an expert by any means, so I'm doing the absolute best I can with my reasonable lack of experience. Now here you can see there was a failure to eject 
the shell did get hung up and caused a little bit of a feed issue, but it wasn't too big of a deal and it cleared very easily. And it did allow me to continue to move forward. So there is a little bit of something that I know I need to keep my eyes on, but we'll see how this goes by the end of this test. Now you can see there, I did have one failure to eject, but I was trying to speed up my shots and still maintain a tight grouping. And at 10 yards, that's still pretty nice. I'm happy with that and that's well within my sort of needs for accuracy so that works and granted I did lose one shot out of the group but that was a round of nine. Now I do need to say that all in all I am pretty happy with the trigger. I am used to the Ruger 1022 and I don't like the trigger on that nearly as much as I like on this PC carbine has a reasonable reset and I'm really doing at this point the best I can to practice keeping my finger on the trigger and really following the reset out so I can get my sight picture back on target in a reasonably quick fashion. All right, so that felt pretty good. You can see some double impacts here. So generally speaking here at 20 yards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then one came a little low, that's 10. So all in all, pretty good. Obviously, I want to tighten that up over time. But at 20 yards for my first day out here, I'm happy with that. And so again, as I mentioned, I do only have the one magazine at this point in time. Keep in mind that this can be fit out to allow you to use Glock magazines. At this particular point, I have not done that, but I do intend on trying that out in the future. Now, as I move forward again, this has performed for the most part very well. At this point I am shooting at a little more distance and it does take a little bit for me where I'm not quite so used to this to really pay attention, get a good mount, but unfortunately, and I really don't know what's causing this, I am having a feed issue. Now this is the second time this has happened today. First at close range, now out at 50 yards. This to me was really a failure to feed from what I could tell. It ended up kind of backing up and jamming a little bit and after dropping the mag and clearing the chamber, I was able to get back on target, but a little bit frustrating overall. So now out at 50 yards, I was going for center mass. You can see I'm grouped a little bit low and a little bit to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty sure that's going to be seven, eight, nine. And there's probably a tenth in here somewhere. I could feel that I wasn't quite on again that's something that will come in time but at 50 yards not too bad i mean i'm i'm dancing Let's see if i can tighten that up a bit do it again now moving forward trying to make some corrections at this point trying to get my sight picture as good as i can holding up the front end of this carbine a little bit heavy this is definitely front weighted and that's something to pay attention to especially with the full handguard now at this point, as you can see, running into a little bit of trouble, unfortunately. What happened here? What the f Is it the mag? Is it the gun? Is it the ammo? And so again, that's just something that I'm going to have to pay attention to. I don't exactly understand what's going on. It's either the ammo, it could be the magazine, it could be me for all I know. All right, so out again at 50 yards. You can see I have made an improvement. Here I was low and right. I've at least fixed my elevation issues. Had a couple real nice shots. And you can see I am spraying just a little bit. I've definitely come up. That was intentional. Maybe a little too much now, but that's okay. The grouping is reasonable, so it's consistent, but I'm just pulling a little bit to the right. But to me, that's dancing. I'm getting closer and honing in on this. So maybe uh, at this point, let's do one more round. Let's see if I can tighten that group up on the X here and then we'll go out to 100. And so at this point, really trying to speed up my shot as much as possible, keeping it on target. This is not the easiest for me as I am pretty much a novice, as I've mentioned, but doing the absolute best I can at 50 yards. So speed is likely not my friend, but again, at 50 yards, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That looks like eight. 
could be one of these I'm not sure but not great but not terrible I didn't tighten up much one two three four five six seven eight anyway but probably missed a couple to the right if I had to guess because I am pushing things to the right you can see I've tried to make my adjustment I am definitely shooting this a little bit right but getting there and finally at 100 yards this for me if I could just hit something would be a success today well lo and behold taking a few shots I definitely missed a bunch but at a couple of occasions success so at 100 yards the ghost rings reasonably accurate if you take your time and if you're steady again being front heavy I do tend to wobble around a little bit it's hard to keep my sights right on that target but at the same time with a little bit of breathing taking my time and really paying attention I can definitely do it and over time I know I will continue to improve. Long story short, even though I had a few failures to feed and some ejection issues, I do really like how the carbine shoots. I think it's comfortable, it fits me very well, and I like the fact that it's nine millimeter. Generally speaking, pretty neat. <laughs> Not bad, it's cool. And so, all right, guys, there you have it, 100 rounds with my Ruger PC carbine. Now, of course, 9mm, this has been pretty good for me so far. I am, generally speaking, very happy with this. Of course, I'm really frustrated at the failures. I'm not sure what it is. I don't know if it's the magazine. I don't know if it's somehow my technique. What I was really trying to do was grab the forend and pull it into my shoulder and pretty much take the entire weight of the gun transfer it into my shoulder for appropriate mounting, get my cheek right where I need it, and then just using my trigger finger and my hand for a little bit of support, but mostly for the trigger pull. And with that, I wouldn't think it would be causing any problems, failure to feed, or any sort of ejection issues. So my question is, is it the magazine? Is it the ammo? I'm not really too sure. So that is the one thing. Now I did collect some of my spent rounds to take a look at them. In general, as I take a look here, looks like the strike was pretty solid. I don't see any striker drag or anything like that, which as you take a look up close, you'll see pretty straight, not quite centered, but these are not always centered. Most of these looking pretty good, but as you take a look at this one, and I did find this, this is the one that got caught up and you can see it did crush it. So something went wrong here and you can see it's got that sort of smashed mark on the back rim so anyway i'm not sure exactly what happened but it is definitely something to consider and to keep an eye on but other than that the ghost ring sight's pretty good i didn't have too many problems this is my first time really using them i was obviously off a little bit in my aim but that's going to come in time the more i use this the more i get used to it and the more i kind of get my fundamental mechanics down everything else should fall into place and generally speaking the comfort like i said phenomenally good for me i literally have this set up perfect you'll notice that i put the extra spacers in here to space it out i'm pretty tall i'm six foot one i have fairly long arms and for me this is literally just perfect and yeah it feels really good i do personally like the spacing of the sights and i like the fact that the sights are entirely on the barrel because when you split this you're not splitting your sights really rear in front off of the rifle to pack it away sometimes and i don't have the most experience but sometimes that can potentially lead to inaccuracy in your sights and really messing up your zero so the fact that your sights are both on the barrel i think is a good thing and i feel as though they are definitely an appropriate distance away i mean as i sight down the rail here i mean it seems perfect to me i don't know what else you would want really as you take a look at it the ghost ring really is perfect so the sort of v-notch that you have here with that center post just aligning perfectly inside the ring so i don't know what else you would really want because to me that seems just about right now in terms of mounting options in my prior video you saw that i did opt to put a light on here obviously i didn't need it in this particular session i wanted to keep things pretty straightforward so all in all 
really good. Now, the next thing for me would be probably trying to leverage some Glock mags. Again, I don't know if it's the ammo. And as we take a quick look at it, the ammo should be pretty straightforward. This is Talamo 115 green, full metal jacket. This is brass. So everything about this, to me, should work. It's ball ammo, so it's got that full nose on it. It's not like it's, you know, a hollow point or something like that. So the failure to eject on a couple of occasions caught me by surprise. I did seemingly have a failure to feed. I don't know if that was, again, just me or maybe I jumped to the conclusion, but as I pulled the trigger, I didn't feel it go, bang. So I thought something was up. And sure enough, of course, once I racked it, at that point, it tried to eject the round. So all in all, I do have to say pretty good. I am going to definitely continue to experiment with this quite a bit. I have to. I really want to get proficient with this. I think this will be my go-to for most of my range sessions from here on out. And certainly until I decide I need another level of a firearm. So, so far, so good. And so there you have it. The first 100 rounds at the range. Really, really cool. I can say I definitely enjoyed this. An absolutely fantastic experience. Very fun. I really like this rifle. I think it's going to be a good choice for me in the end. But all things considered, only time will tell. So all right, guys, thanks for following along. And if you like this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limit List channel, which is more on my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, and outdoor excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limit List YouTube channel. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.